Hey, welcome back to another self-help video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace your CPU cooling fan in this Asus uh, notebook. And first thing you want to do is remove, uh, flip it over, and there's nine screws that you have to remove from the back side. I already removed them. There's one, two, three, four in the front, one, two, three, four in the back, one in the middle. I suggest you take these screws and uh, put them aside. Uh, from how I was able to, once you have the screws removed, what I was able to do was just pop off the corner and then work work my way around. And it just uh, ends up disconnecting uh, the, the base from the uh, laptop itself by doing that. Um, so remember, those nine, those nine screws are all different style. So the four in the front are, are actually smaller than the uh, four in the back. So you might want to just put those aside. And the one screw in the middle is longer than the, uh, all the other ones. So um, this is your CPU cooling fan. I'll show you where the screws are. I already moved a couple of them. Just like I said, I'm trying to make the video uh, short for you guys. This uh, sticker here that's holding this cable down Move that back and there, there's a screw that you're gonna remove from there. So there's one there, uh, there's, and there's four more. There's two, I'm sorry, one, one there, two, three, four, five. So there's four here, which is holding uh, this like little heat sink down on top of the CPU. This is your cooling fan and this, this connector just pulls out um, of that connection there. So. Let's go ahead and, and keep these screws all together also. These four are the, are the same. I already removed two. And I'll remove these two. These So these four are the same. Actually, all five look to be the same. All five, including this one. This just lifts up uh, like that. And this is what the, uh, this has a bad fan uh, in this unit. It works and then it starts, uh, then it just stops and then when it starts up again it, it gets real loud so this is the actual cooling fan the replacement uh, unit is here so this is the replacement this is the new one very similar match them up this is the bad one um, it comes with this um, jelly that you want to put on uh, there's some on the CPU. You don't want to overdo it. Just put a little bit uh, on there. And I'm going to show you right now. So break this open, just cut this open. And all you need is a little, you don't want it seeping all the way off the edge onto the uh, connectors below. So you just put a little bit on. That's, that's plenty. Spread it around. Perfect. And then take your new uh, fan and align it with the one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And just slide this connection over here back like that and it'll sit onto there so there's one Ooh, that sits perfect let's put this back together remember you don't want to overdo it when you put that um, it's not it's not a silicone I forgot the exact uh, uh, name for that but don't overdo it just put enough on tighten all these back down this one here we'll turn it on just want just want to make sure the fan does turn on and one more try not to get in your way one more here of course obviously make sure your units off if you want to remove the power from the battery, you can, you can do that. Let's plug in our connector. I know my hands in a way, but it's tricky to get this in there. So 
just slide it in like that, put this back on. All right, and what I'm going to do is power it on just to show you that so we can see the fan turn on. Powering up. That fan should kick on any minute. Uh, actually, I'm surprised it hasn't kicked on yet. Usually, it goes through when you power cycle the computer. It usually kicks on. As a test, you can see that it, it you can see that it is powering up. The lights there are uh, blinking. There it is. It, it's just it's on now. I don't know if you can see that, but you can see that it, that it, uh, it is spinning now. So, and the other one was making a noise. It, at first it wasn't, then it got to a point where it just started making a noise all the time. So, uh, now this one obviously is on, it's quiet. It is not making a noise. I think the um, most important thing to understand when you guys do this this gel, do not put a lot of this gel on. Like I said, it's very important. You can read about it online. That's really it. That's that's really there. Uh, all there is to it, uh, replacing that uh, CPU fan. So uh, I hope this video helped you guys. If you have any comments, leave them in the field below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Remember, funk can do, so can you. Thanks for watching.